Okay, three, two, one. Chris, congratulations on the appointment. What does it mean to be named captain? It's the hug. <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. It's the manager put that trust in me to be captain. It's fantastic. And he spoke about when I first signed that it was the it was the option of hopefully being captain, depending on what who, who come in and how I settle in with the group. So it's delighted that he's actually named me captain now. I'm looking forward to getting going and absolutely hopefully lead the boys to some success this season. Yeah, you described your kind of self as a leader and, and having done this role previously. How different will it be given that this is a completely new group? Yeah, so we're all in the same sort of position where it's quite a good group really because we've got the experienced side and we've got the younger sort of side. They know how to do it, so obviously with that, the role being captain, we've got some people that I can lean on as well who've been captains of their former clubs, so they know the role as well and if they have to step in when I'm not playing as well, that's going to be that simple transition where they can do that as well. Yeah, you're not going to be alone in this. You've got three vice captains, you and Murray, Rory McKenzie, and Chris Burke. What have you learned about them so far, and how big a help will they be for you? Yeah, especially like with Rory and Chris, who've been here at the club for like a long sort of long period of time. Especially with Rory, they know the club, they know the ins and outs, and that's always helpful with someone who's been at the club as well. Because with the new group, you need boys who know the club, know the supporters, and know how the club sort of runs and. So I'll be leaning on them as well, and it's the same with you. And as well, he was a, he was a captain at his former club, so he, kn he knows the role. So that's with them three boys. It's uh, especially so it's easy for me to lean on them if I need anything, any help. And that's well, there be if anything that needs to be said, they'll be saying it as well without me even being saying anything as well. So that's that's important. We've got to say it's a good blend of experience and people that have been there and know, know how to do it. How have the the first few days been? How's pre-season been for for you so far? Yeah, it's been it's been a little fortunate for me. That picked up a little groin strain. And, Bit frustrating one really where you come back you want to especially with a new group you want to come in and impress and impress the manager and impress the staff and impress the boys as well but yeah it's been a bit a little, little niggly one it's not too bad but it's especially in pre-season you can have that period of time where you're a bit fortunate where you can not have to rush it back and take sit back and take a bit of time with it so yeah it's one where it's just frustrating me but the physio is holding me back and hopefully by tomorrow i can get in there and get around to go how excited are you for this new season ahead and playing in front of the, the Kilmarnock fans? Yeah, that's what drew me to the club, really. It's see, Even though we've fallen back, it's it's one step back, hopefully two steps forward and we can get going and see if we, hopefully we get off to a good start and get the fans right on our side. Because I think that when you get that disappointment, you're always raring to come and have a bit of success and that's what we're all chomping at. We're hopefully, hopefully going to get that successful this season and get off the mark and get going. And then, there's no way better to start with obviously air at home. And I never experienced that as well, but a lot of boys, especially the ones who've been there, and they're, they're saying now obviously what a big, bigger game it is as well. And I'm sure the sports will be letting us know, building up towards that game. And we'll say we've got four important games before that as well. We need to get our heads down and make sure them cup games we're right up for them and go into the air game and they're with obviously with some good positive results.